Hello everyone. Today I am going to discuss an elegant geometric inequality problem from the book Math Storm. As you can see, uh, there is an acute angle triangle ABC whose circumcenter is O, and there are three other points N, L, M, which are the circumcenter of the triangle BCO, CAO, and ABO respectively. And you have to prove that the sum of the area of these four triangles is greater than or equal to 3 root 3 by 2 R square. Where obviously capital R is what? Uh, capital R is the uh, circumradius of the parent triangle ABC. Okay. So in order to solve this problem, first I am going to draw a rough sketch of the diagram. Okay. Uh, there is an acute triangle ABC, something like that. Yeah. Let A be the top vertex and B and C are the other two vertices. O is what? O is the circumcenter of the triangle ABC and uh, notice that the triangle is acute angle then definitely the circumcenter lies within the triangle something like that O is the circumcenter and if O is the circumcenter then OA, OB, OC all are equal to the circumradius OA equals to OB equal to OC is equals to capital R okay now notice that capital N is what? N is the circumcenter of the triangle BCO. Now look at the triangle BCO. Uh, triangle BOC. OB is OC implies triangle BOC is an isosceles triangle. And if the triangle BOC is isosceles, therefore point N uh, lies on the perpendicular bisector of BC as well as lies on the interior angle bisector of angle BOC because the triangle is isosceles. So I am going to draw a perpendicular from point O to the side BC. Okay. And then definitely uh, triangle is isosceles then this angle and this angle. These two angles are equal and each angle is equal to A because O is the circumcenter and here the top angle is A. Therefore uh, the angle at point O made by the arc BC is what 2A so each angle is equals to A and the point N lies on this uh, perpendicular uh, okay but here we are not given the nature of the triangle BOC and whether it is acute or obtuse so N may be lies inside or outside the triangle BOC so we take uh, the location of point N is here the location of N is immaterial uh, because there is no role of the location of point NLM in the problem. Similarly, draw another perpendicular from O to the line AC, something like that. And the uh, circumcenter capital L lies on this line. Uh, similarly, draw perpendicular from O to the third side AB and M is something like that okay now first what we have to find the area this is square bracket represents the area okay area of triangle NLM so first I am going to join the point N and L okay since O is the circumcenter therefore angle BOC angle since O is circumcenter, this will imply angle BOC is 2A, angle uh, AOC, AOC is clearly 2B, and angle AOB is 2C. And if angle AOC is 2B, uh, then definitely OL is what? OL is the interior angle bisector, then definitely this angle is B. Now, there is one more important point. N is what? 
n is a circumcenter of triangle boc then point n definitely lies on the perpendicular bisector of bc okay again point l is what l is a circumcenter of triangle uh, triangle coa coa okay so l will definitely lies on the circum uh, sorry l will definitely lies on the perpendicular bisector of side oc so we can write uh, points n and l lies on perpendicular bisectors perpendicular bisector of the side uh, oc Uh, perpendicular bisector of the side OC. It means that this is a perpendicular bisector, and if this is a perpendicular bisector, uh, if we call this point as R, then OR is actually what? OR is half times OC. Uh, suppose so 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 capital R is the circumradius, so we can take this point as T instead of R. Sorry for that. OT. OT is half OC that becomes 1 by 2 R. Okay. Now uh, it means at uh, this length. If we uh, talk about this wave length OT, this is clearly R by 2. R by 2. Okay. Now uh, using triangle ONT, using triangle. O N T N T is what N T since O T is uh, R by 2 and N T is opposite side so N T is what R by 2 tan A. Similarly, in triangle O T L using triangle O T L T L is what T L is R by 2 tan B yeah R by 2 tan B. Uh, these two are taken together imply what is the length of nl 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 is actually the sum of these two length okay uh, so it can be written as r by 2 times tan a plus tan b okay uh, so if we talk about the area of triangle nol then uh, this area becomes half into base base is nl nl is what r by 2 times tan a plus tan b into height height is clearly ot and ot is what uh, ot is r by 2 into r by 2 so this area comes out to be r is square by 8 times Ten a plus ten b. Okay. Okay. But we have to find out the area of triangle NLM. So NLM is actually the composition of three such triangle. If we join the point M and L, then we get another triangle OLM. And if we connect M by N, okay. So we can write. Area of triangle NLM is what area of triangle NOL plus area of triangle LOM plus area of triangle uh, MON. Okay, okay. So some of uh, area of these two triangles is what. Uh, uh, This becomes r square by 8, and in bracket there is 2 times tan a plus tan b plus tan c. So it is better to write it as r square by 4 into tan a plus tan b plus tan c. Okay. So which can Further, we written as if we multiply by three and divide by three, three r square by four. Oh, just a minute. Three r square by four. Yeah. Three r square by four into ten a plus ten b plus ten c 
by 3 something like that okay so what uh, I am going to write this picture since we know that uh, tan x is a convex function uh, if we suppose fx equals to tan x then derivative f dash x is what sec square x and what about f double dash x uh, it is clearly 2 sec x into sec x tan x that is 2 sec square x into tan x which is strictly positive for all values of x belongs to 0 to pi by 2 since the triangle ABC is acute angle so no angle of the triangle go beyond pi by 2 so we can say that tan x is convex this is convex in 0 say pi by 2 so here I am going to use uh, Jensen's inequality apply Jensen's inequality so this sum is greater than or equal to 3 r square by 4 into 10 of a plus b plus c by 3 a plus b plus c is obviously 180 by 3 that is 1060 and the value of 1060 is what root 3 so from here we can say that the area of triangle nlm is always greater than or equal to 3 root 3 by 4 r square okay okay now uh, again uh, what we have to do uh, we have to find area of triangle b o n c o l and a o m b o n okay uh, change the color okay i am going to pick the blue one blue one okay uh, if we connect b and n b and n clear and clearly uh, Nm, Nm is what? Nm is a perpendicular bisector of OB. So no doubt this angle is 90 degree. And this length is what? This is again uh, B Mn. Mn is clearly the perpendicular bisector of OB. So this blue wavelength is clearly R by 2. Okay. So uh, if we uh, take this point as point Q, uh, then NQ is what? It is better to write NQ here. Uh, using triangle OQN, OQ is R by 2, so I think NQ is what? R by 2 times tan A. R by 2 tan A. Okay. So, uh, what about the area of triangle? Area of triangle BON. Area of triangle BON is what? Half into OB. OB is R. OB is R and uh, nq 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 is r by 2 tan a r by 2 tan a so area of triangle b o n is what r square by 4 r square by 4 into 10 a uh, so area of this triangle is r square by 4 10 a similarly what is the area of triangle c o l c o l is r square by 4 into 10 b this angle is b and what you can say about the area of triangle AOM here this angle is C this angle is C therefore uh, area of these three triangles BON, COL and AOM also area of triangle BON plus BON plus COL plus COL plus a o m is what r square by 4 into 10 a plus 10 b plus 10 c so again i am going to use the same approach multiply and divide by 3 in order to use the jensen's inequality here this expression can be written as 10 a plus 10 b plus 10 c divided by 3 and we have already proved that uh, uh, tan x is convex in this interval so uh, this result uh, can be further written as greater than equal to by using Jensen's inequality again uh, 3 r square by 4 into 10 of a plus b plus c by 3 uh, that comes out to be 3 r square by 4 into root 3 
okay so this result is true and if we add first and second then we can write area of triangle NLM plus area of triangle BON plus COL plus AOM in equation 1 the area is 3 root 3 by 4 r square area is greater than equal to this and here in equation 2 in equality 2 it is also greater than equal to this picture because here uh, you can note it there is a greater than equal to sign so 2 times uh, 3 root 3 r square by 4 uh, so it is better to write it as 3 root 3 by 2 r square hence proved thanks for watching